that my opinion is that in the coming years, we're going to see a sweet spot where they're like, ah, I think we may have overdone it in some folks and we maybe didn't need to go so hard so fast. I'm not saying some folks don't need that, but I think for the majority middle, most folks probably would do better with a more personalized strategy when it comes to their dosing and relying on this peptide as a monotherapy, meaning the only thing on board is a disaster. There's a whole suite of other adjunctive therapeutics that we bring on board to have the most success so we can keep the doses of everything as low as possible. And I will end with this. When I started my GLP-1 journey personally, when I went on it, and I'm still on the tiniest little dose, you guys, I'm still not on the standard starting dose. I'm nowhere near it most of the time. And I cycle and I rotate and I talk all about that inside my course. When I started, I had been taking two grains of Armour Thyroid a day. That's 120 milligrams of Armour Thyroid for decades, for probably two decades, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, two grains for decades. And I am now down to half a grain a day. So I am down to 30 milligrams. So from 120 milligrams down to 30 milligrams. How did that happen? Well, I think for one, it finally got my autoimmune condition under some semblance of control. And I know this because I have outward symptoms. And I've talked about this. I did a really old episode when I shared my reasons for taking this. And maybe some of you have heard it, but I have psoriatic arthritis. So my symptoms tell me, and I actually have outward symptoms. I actually get psoriasis on my scalp in a few separate places. And when that creeps up, I'm like, oh, my immune system's being funny. And I'm telling you guys, you could, <laughs> you couldn't have known someone who's tried harder with the clean diet, with the access to all of the, I have, I have access to everything, you guys. I have cupboards and cupboards and cupboards of supplements that companies send me. I have purchased all of the things. I have all the red light panels. I have the saunas. I have the low-dose naltrexone. I've been using low-dose naltrexone personally and clinically since the early 2000s. Like, I'm not new to any of this. I have access to stem cells and exosomes and all the things. Like, I've been using all of those long before they were cool. And I couldn't get some of these things under control for myself. And guess what? The tiniest little dose of a GLP-1 does. So I knew that outwardly I was experiencing relief. I knew, and I also got my hormones more dialed in. I've talked about that. I did a whole episode on estrogen, on why I think women should really consider estrogen and start looking into it and testing before their ovaries fall offline because there, there's a transition that could happen that's way nicer. And I talked about the use of topical estrogen versus steady state like patch, you know, and how remarkable that's been for me. I've talked about all of this in, you know, sprinkled throughout many episodes, but all that's just, and my pain is down, my mood's better. So I know my neuroinflammation has improved. I mean, it's really remarkable how different I feel when I really need to, you know, take another dose. And I do, and I'm like, ah, oh, my immune system just went, ah, oh, nice and calm. But I'll tell you the fact that I only need half a grain of thyroid, of armor thyroid every day. And sometimes not every day, sometimes every other day. My thyroid labs are beautiful. And I used to need two whole pills for decades. That tells me that it's healing me. And I've told you guys this, it's anti-inflammatory, it's regenerative, and it's healing. That is how GLP-1 works in your body when done right. That's why I have GLP-1 done right university. So I'll make sure that you guys have a link to the course directly in the show notes because I keep sending you all to this free four-part video series. You guys can find that on my website at drtina.com forward slash Ozempic Uncovered. It's a really awesome and informational four-part video series. But if you guys just want to buy the course, trust me, get in there because we're changing it up in 2025 and we're getting close to the end of you being able to get this iteration with this much content, especially if you're part of the general public. And we're certainly close to it being the last chance to get access to it if you are a practitioner at this price. So grab it if you're interested in getting it because it is gold. There is gold in those hills. And it's really my whole clinical strategy when it comes to optimizing patients' metabolic health. I don't take patients anymore. I do occasionally. It has to be by referral. It's a whole thing. And it's very rare that I will actually do it anymore. I consult with people sometimes as well. But if you guys want my brain on how I approach a clinical case, I promise you it's unique and it's probably nothing you've ever been taught by in school or by most of your mentors. So if you're a clinician or healthcare professional, there's great information in there based on a lot of clinical experience. That's the other argument the NDs that hate me keep making. Like, she's not in practice anymore. I promise you, honey, I saw more patients in my 10 years of very busy clinical practice than you probably ever will in your entire career. So with that said, 
go check out the course. I wish you guys the best. I hope that this information is helpful and it has decreased some of your concern because I know a lot of you are on these GLP ones and you're freaking out and you're coming into my DMs and you're like, I'm scared. I don't know what to do because of these sensationalized claims that are being made. But hopefully this has shed some light on it. And if you don't get every answer you want out of me, plug the study. I'll give you the links, plug the study into ChatGPT and talk to it. And I use, again, a plugin called Consensus. There's other ones out there, but ask it questions and get good at this because the better you are at deciphering truth and information out of data, the better off we all are, right? We, If we're prone to fear and we're prone to jumping into fear without the minute I get anxiety about something, I immediately go into research mode. I'm not a phenomenal researcher. I'm just tenacious and I just dig, 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 dig. And I want you guys to have that skill too, to some degree. Don't just rely on me. Don't just rely on what comes out of my mouth. Don't just rely on what comes out of other people's mouths. Like go learn how to do your own research. The stupidest thing I heard in 2020 was don't do your own research. That was like literally the dumbest giveaway <laughs> to me. I was like, oh, I'm on to you guys, really. <laughs> like I already was, but now we're really on to it. Like, oh, we don't want you knowing anything. I want you knowing everything. I want you to be completely as educated as you possibly can be. That's the only way through all of this. I don't care if you think Maha is going to save us or if you think whatever, and it's all chaos, like no one's coming to save you. There's any of you actually think anyone in government's going to do anything. You're delusional. You save yourself through education and through empowerment. And that is what I'm trying to give you guys. And if you guys want the deep, deep dive, it's inside my course. If you want the free content, there are dozens of hours of it. And you guys, a lot of people are getting what they need from that. So with that, I will bid you adieu. I hope you guys have the best Christmas and I appreciate all of you and uh, and, and Hanukkah and happy holidays and, and, all, and Kwanzaa and all the things. Like, I hope you just have great times. It's really, to me, it's about, see, it makes me tear up. <laughs> I live in Oregon, so it's so dark here and it's so rainy and it's so crappy. And this season is the season of light. So it's the light through the darkness, right? But that's what we're trying to do here. So get your shit together. Get your game plan on for 2025. I've got some really exciting stuff coming down the chute for you. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, I got a lot for the just the general public in general. I know you guys need more out of me than just access to this course. And so we're my team and I are really excited. We're building something very exciting because we are trying to be the light in this darkness. And it's a team effort. It's a family effort. My whole family works for me. And we're really trying to bring something special to you guys through all of this influencer, misinformation, sensationalism, polarization, like fuck all that, right? Like let's just get the truth out there. And then you guys got to put in the work and put in the time, change your life, learn what you can. And then, you know, my mentor always said, see one, do one, teach one. So take care of your family, take care of the people you love, fight for their health, fight for their rights and learn it and teach it, spread it forward, right? 